going on people I'm Ryan and welcome back to the way we hunt it's good to see you guys appreciate you dropping by again well this is a very special trip I am currently on my way to Texas Central Texas Emily is back in Oklahoma doing Emily things so I have a very good friend that I used to teach his whole family really uh, at the US Shooting Academy in Tulsa Oklahoma my name's Brad. Hey Brad. Brad is gonna go down here for a hopefully trophy odd dad hunt. Something very special is gonna happen though and you're gonna have to wait till the end of this video to see what it is. But Brad doesn't know. Well Brad knows now, clearly, but. And his wife is in on it, so Angela, you've been outed. I'll just back that bus right over you. Anyway, so Brad uh, is going to have a pretty cool hunt, I think. He, there's going to be something, like I said, at the end that he's uh, not expecting. And we hope it's as special for him as it has been for us and the 345 Ranch and his wife on setting this up. So you have to check that out. But anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you like our videos. Please hit that notification bell right down there in the corner. That way you get notified every time we post a video. Please tell your friends to subscribe to our channel. You never know, it could be you that wins the Euro mount. That's what we're giving away for our 500 subscriber. So thank you guys, appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. I actually met up with Brad on the road. I passed him. We uh, got groceries at the local store and we are about two miles from the 345 Ranch. Get this thing going. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the 345 Ranch. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to a great time. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> what can I do to help? Oh, there you are. Howdy. How are you? These are your accommodations? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Welcome to camp. More room than me, than I need. Make sure I didn't knock everything up. What are we going to do now? Oh, uh, how about we go on a tour? I like it. Check this out, Ryan. Oh. Welcome to the 345 Oasis. That's what I'm talking about. How do you do it? About six foot, I think. That's cool. Got seats around every. We'll be here later. I'm all about it. Where are we at? We are at the 345 ranch. I think we're in neutral. We're in neutral. That feels like drive. We're at the 345 ranch in the new top drive one ton. Solid 18 feet in the air. Uh, this is new. Full sunset cruise. You ever driven a truck 20 feet in the air before? Digitally? <laughs> yeah. On purpose? Yeah. This is definitely a first for me. The first. The yeah. First. But it's intense. Yeah. What you making, Ryan? Making a little venison fajitas. 
little, little quick little uh, evening dish before the festivity starts tonight. I like that sound. Mm -hmm. Little Rec Tech Matador. What all you got in there? Oh, we're doing pretty easy now. We got, got some frozen uh, some frozen vegetables, red peppers, onions, green peppers. And then we've got some pre-seasoned venison fajita meat, just venison strips that we've seasoned with oh, coriander, cumin, or cumin, you know where it's from, a little paprika, salt, pepper, and then some, I think, McCormick's fajita seasoning. And we vacuum sealed that. It's been sitting for about a year. So I'm gonna let that brown up, mix these vegetables back in. Throw in some fancy, fancy craft single cheese because we forgot to get cheese at the store. <laughs> and uh, heat us up some tortillas and have us some venison tortillas for dinner. Then we're gonna go hog hunting. Sounds good. Oh. Smells good. Yeah, let that brown up a little bit. I don't like vegetables, Ryan. Why are you making fun you, of me? What are you doing? That's what my food eats is that stuff. But it tastes good when it's cooked. <laughs> I'm gonna leave those peppers on there just for you. Okay, there you go. All right, that'll work. We took Brad out to try to get him on some monster hogs out there. We came across a group of Audad that we thought we were gonna get a shot on, but they spooked just before Brad could crack the shot. He handed me the rifle, and as we're scanning across the field, the biggest hog I've ever seen in my life walked out. He made us about the time we made him, and I had no choice but just to make a crack shot. I felt bad because I really wanted Brad to kill this hog, but if we wouldn't have done it the way we did, this hog would have ran off, probably not to have been seen again. Good morning. Good morning. What Killer breakfast. What are we fixing to go do? We're gonna go set somewhere and hope something comes out and lets us shoot it. We got a little bear sausage, bacon, some pork sausage, some egg cooked in all of the above, some very locally made tortillas, I think. They're very good. I'm gonna try to make something happen this morning anyway. Killed nothing yet. You killed a lot of time, but I'm having a blast. I don't care. <laughs> After two sets in the blinds, we still hadn't seen any odd ad. We decided to get on the ground and spot and stalk through the mesquite to try to jump something up. We caught a glimpse, but they ran off just as soon as we spotted them. decided to take a break in the middle of the day. Now one of the big problems a 345 ranch has are predators and raccoons. So we took the time to help them out with a little raccoon control. Ed Coon. We got something going on here, and this might have turned into a, 
Oklahoma to Texas coon hunt. <laughs> We're on a roll. <laughs> Braxton's down here, he's on trifecta right now. <laughs> We're out here on our, this would be our first night hunt, uh, trying to run down some odd ads. We uh, hit a couple of spots, we got the beast out here. Uh, gonna hopefully try to find some coming into one of the feeders. Uh, just having a good time, enjoying. Want to thank Ryan and Emily, the way we hunt. Uh, everything's been great so far. Uh, hopefully we get on something, try to put a round through it, see if we can't put something on the ground. What happened? We almost got it. We got real close. And I think they're still close, but Kinda got busted just a little bit driving in the beast. Pretty sure they're still down there though. just happened. Uh, we had some white-tailed does come in. We watched them for a little while. Uh, look up and we had a U-Aw dad walk in. That pretty good ram walk in behind her. Uh, we gave it a few minutes to try to get a good clean side, broadside shot on him. I think we hit him pretty hard. He was, he was bleeding pretty good. I think we, uh, I think we got an dad down. Thank you, brother. Just in case it ran this way. Just, I mean, yeah, just in case it went that way. Uh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that worked exactly like it was supposed to. He's even ready for a damn picture. I should have known something was up. We just said, hey, let's go walk down here in case he went this way. We well, got good curl backs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, go and write us down what, what happened this afternoon. What, are, well, what, what was our plan and kind of what plan happened? was we got busted by some odd ads yesterday at this feeder and uh, our plan was to get in here a little bit earlier than we did yesterday. Uh, white tail does come in. The, uh, these two odd ads came in. Uh, this was the bigger of the two. She came in, stood right by the feeder. She had me fooled. She's got a good set of curls on her. Uh, put a shot on her. Thought I might have been a little high. We looked at the footage. Uh, it looked good. We had plenty of blood. We came down. Gave her about 20, 25 minutes. We came down, walked her through, and uh, found the found a little bit of blood. And uh, Ryan decided to play a little trick on me. I'm I'm looking in the road for blood, and he pulls the old, "Hey, let's check over here. I think she went this way." And it's uh, laying there dead. Meta went probably 40 yards. Uh, it's a it's a U, but it's, she's a hell of a U. She's got nice big curls, nice big chaps. Totally happy with the Toto Stoke. Thank you so much. The way we hunt and three, four, five ranch, you guys are the best. Get in there, Brad. They say when the deer, when the animals die, that's when the work starts. Well, the work starting. Having a good time doing it, though. Let's 
take as much as high as I can for Angela. So, just before before you sign, just just me personally, man, I, I, thanks for coming out, dude. This has been thanks for the opportunity, man. I'm telling you, man, that last the last eight hours have just been. Yeah, I mean everything's been awesome. I mean, last eight hours were just killer. Yeah, a little it bit was, hard to recovery from, but it'll happen. But yeah. the whole experience is amazing. Well, it's a hard hunt. I mean, like hard well, yeah. than I figured it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's not. We was getting up at five and not getting in until midnight, one o'clock, and then. Yeah. But every moment was doing something I enjoyed. So. Yeah. I can't say thank you enough. Where you guys, the way we hunt, yeah. that's where I think you guys are unique in a lot of ways is that's right. This is the way you hunt. Yeah. It's not the way we hunt. We go out and we set up, we do it. No, this is the way we hunt. We go, we bear our people, we enjoy being around, we have a good time. Yeah. That's what I like about what you guys are doing. Well, thank you. It's it's fun. We it's I mean last night was a complete hit, you know, and, and the hunt yes the hunt yesterday was good, you know, we, we had animals all around us the entire time, and then the day before, you got your audit, I mean, just, it just kind of started slow, and it just like steamrolled. Every day was full of something, yeah, and that, that's, but because of, uh, obviously it's a, it's a game ranch, you know, at the end of the day, so you just have to sign your stuff and all that, so sign your tags, and then all we have to do is, there's a bunch of other, out there, but just sign your tags, and then we will, uh, We'll just, we'll just take them back, so, go. Do it. Do Huh? Yeah. So, this, uh, th this was for you. Your, and your wife is 100% already in the know. So, this didn't cost you a dime. What, what's in, what's in your, what's in your tag? Uh, I think that's what I gave Robbie for me. Yeah. Yeah, dude, this is just for you. So, <laughs> it worked, Angela. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now she's gonna get a kick out of this. She was in the know. Yeah, yeah she already knew. That's why she's so adamant. Yep. In trouble, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She. Uh, we we got we got a hold of her about a month ago. Kind of ran ran past her and see if this was a good idea. Got got Robbie on board with it. Got Eric on board with it. Got everybody. It was. Just want you to have a good time. You're you're such a good dad. You're such a good husband, and just every, you give so much for other people, and you give so much for your family. And things have been not the easiest with medical stuff, you know, family type stuff. And I know you love to hunt, and the fact that you've given up some of that to take care of your family is huge. So we just wanted to give something back to you. Easy day, just the way we hunt. If you don't follow their page and you're watching this. Get on board. These are good people with good hearts. <clears throat> I spent the whole time here. I, I didn't care. Yeah. I, I told you I was going to bring. I was going to bring money. Yeah. And you said how much? I didn't care how yeah. much it was going to be because <laughs> when I went to bed this morning, I felt like I had successfully come out here and done what I came out here to do. And it wasn't just to kill my dad or to kill a call buck or to do this or that. It was to get back to my center, like we talked about. Yeah. My drive home is going to be partially spent cussing her, <laughs> but <laughs> reflecting on what, yeah. what, what that, the opportunity is, what I got to do. Oh, man. Congrats. Thanks, man. Dude, you don't have any idea. This day keeps getting better and better. Now it's raining hard in, a, in our escape raft. We've been all over the U.S. in a few countries hunting and fishing. 
And now we want to take you on those adventures with us. And if you stick around, we're going to try to share some tips and tricks with you. So hopefully you can do the same thing. So check us out.